Now back to voting rights legislation, President Biden claiming it's going to get done. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer setting an MLK Day deadline, but nothing will get done in Congress until Congress addresses the filibuster. Mike Sozan is a senior fellow at the Center for American Progress, and he joins us now. And Mike, everyone knows the issue is the filibuster. Why are both Republicans and Democrats so reluctant to change something that essentially is hurting both parties? Well, first of all, thanks for having me on this morning. Um, I mean, the filibuster has been around in the Senate for a while, so a lot of senators are wedded to it. But the filibuster has actually been amended many, many times. Over 150 different bills and laws have been passed into existence under exceptions to the filibuster. The filibuster is not written in stone. It's not in the Constitution. Like I said, it's been amended many times, and it's been really weaponized in recent years. Um, and Republicans in the Senate have been using it uh, over the past year to really stop stone cold a number of, uh, of items that uh, President Biden wants to pass, including two really important voting rights bills. And so the Republicans appear to be uniformly uh, opposed not only the voting rights bills, but changing the filibuster. Most of the Senate Democrats are now in agreement that there needs to be some sort of reform to the filibuster so that this voting rights legislation can pass and our democracy really can be saved. Mike, can we pull back the, the curtains on how the sausage is made in, in Washington? And are we seeing basically the hand of lobbyists that really don't want anything to get done on voting rights on either side of the aisle because they fundraise off of it. Uh, if you're a Republican or Democrat, both of them are making a lot of money off of this argument, keeping it going. The same with things like um, immigration reform, gun reform. Are we now starting to see the same thing with the filibuster, that it has now become one of those partisan issues that just keeps the sausage being made? Yes. Sadly, voting rights has grown into more and more of a partisan issue under, under, uh, d during the Trump era. And, you know, obviously there's been a long history in this country of voter suppression, but there was a time when uh, Republicans in Congress were uh, voting to reauthorize the Voting Rights Act. For example, during the George W. Bush administration, President Bush signed into law uh, a reauthorization of the Voting Rights Act, um, and that had passed 98 to zero in the Senate. Um, and things have really changed in recent years, sadly. And so much of the Republican Party has followed Donald Trump over a cliff, uh, repeating the big lie and claims of um, widespread fraud in the last election. And that's led to a number of states passing really onerous voter suppression laws. Um, I think there's really good momentum on the Democratic side in the Senate towards amending, uh, amending the filibuster. We're going to see that come to a head this week. But yes, your point is well taken that a lot of times lobbyists or other stakeholders really do benefit from kind of gridlock year after year and, and, uh, and really kind of throwing sand in the gears. But like I said, people are, are making their voices heard. They're demanding passage of voting rights legislation. They're demanding that the arcane filibuster rule does not take precedence over saving our democracy. So this is an important week. Mike, I wanna invite you back because this issue is not going away anytime soon. I wanna let our producers know that we need your voice. That is Mike Sozan. He is a senior fellow at the Center for American Progress. Mike, thanks for being with us.